Howdy folks, welcome to episode 30. Today we're going to see if we can get over this mess. And so I back here a little bit, a little bit back here, we um, did, I ran into some weirdness. It was a little bit farther back. Here, let me see. It was back on this area right here. There was something that, yeah, it was, it was over here somewhere, but there was still some drag I had when I was coming around this corner one of the, um, and I think it was just one of the engines, got caught on something and it may be right there. I think the ground is just a little bit too close right there. But yeah, one of the engines had some difficulty getting across that. And so I think I'm going to need to fix that segment of track sometime and maybe even like make it come up a little bit in order to go around that. But yeah, th we're definitely gonna need to fix that. So anyway, where is that? That is a, it's basically compared to where the where the um, river is. So it's right across from this little island here. Okay. All right, I could probably figure that out. I, I'll come do that in a bonus episode or something when we're doing some cleanup. But anyway, what we're gonna do is we're gonna get back on the train here. Let's go back up here. <laughs> and see if we can uh, get this train across this segment of track. So we're going to go like this. We're going to jump on the front here. And we'll see if we can get this to happen. So we're going to go like this. We're going to take off the brakes. I think this is, yeah, see, it's a pretty significant hill. If you look at this, there's a, there's a fairly significant hill here that we're on and while wow, the frame rate just completely tanked as soon as we did that <laughs> all right and I want to stay at let's see what happens if we go at two-thirds let's see what kind of speed we have we're still speeding up really hmm okay let's see what happens if we go to 100% I mean, we do have fuel and we do have brake pressure in every car, right? Brake pressure, those have, yeah, because those have whatchamacallits. Apparently, this is a pretty steep hill if our brakes are only barely slowing us down at 100%. All right. I'm glad we have as many engines as we do, right? <laughs> but yeah, this was the segment where we came off the track before, so we'll see if we can make it around this I, I don't think six I don't think six should be too fast so considering dangerous speed is up upwards of 15 so Let's see if we can let off a little bit here Let's see what happens if we let off what happens if we completely let off okay so let's try 50 percent We'll see what we get at 50%. I did stop and fuel up everybody and all that. I topped off before we, uh, before we, um, yeah, we're down to 80% now, but yeah, before we restarted and everything. So we'll see how this goes. I think this might even have been a segment where, where we rebuilt. Yeah, see, it's this back and forth thing that's the worrisome part, isn't it? Let's see what we've got here. Let's go like this. We'll bring the brakes back up to full. And we'll see what kind of <laughs> result we get. What kind of disaster happens, right? Yeah, I'm not sure what happened last time. I, I don't know if we were just trying to s slow down too suddenly and there wasn't... I mean, the train is all compressed right now. The back end is pushing the front end down. If you know what I mean, and the and the, all the weight is at the front end, so it's not like the, it's not like the, um, the state cars at the end are, are putting too much stress on everything. But yeah, and it does it look like we're slowing down here. Let's go this look this way. 
Yeah, because this was this was where it popped off last time, so I think we're good. I think it's just that we were trying to slow down, and it was coming around that corner at just the, uh, the wrong time or the wrong speed or whatever. So, yeah, we're actually slowing down again. So let's take some breaks off of here. Let's see if we can get a little bit more speed going here. All right, bugs on my desk. <laughs> See what we've got here. Turn this off for a second. Now we can see it and we can do this. Okay, yeah, it seems to be doing fine now. And we're okay as far as like, we're not over speeding or anything. So if this works out, we should be able to get to the end of this line, which should be a, about good timing as far as um, as far as the program I'm working on. I've got it so that it loads in and shows a list of all the it loads in all the data for all the for all of the uh, rolling stock in the game in the save. So I just need to make the part that like puts it together in the new save. That's going to be the trick. All right, we're going 9.6 and we're staying steady at 9.6, so that's fine. But I'm pretty sure this is the bottom of this hill right here, and I think we're going to have to start going back uphill cuz look at this. Is it is it just me or does it look like that tilt? So let's go like this. We'll take the brakes off. We'll let this speed up a little. And we'll probably even start giving it some regulator if it starts slowing down. We're at 12. Is it going to... Nope, it's still not... Okay. Alright, we're going to keep the brakes to... We're going to use the brakes to keep us at reasonable, reasonable speed. It looks like that's going to keep us at a good speed. Keep an eye out on this part here, and let's see what we've got behind us. Still have all our cars, <laughs> right? All right. Well, it's looking okay. It's those parts where the ground starts to encroach or almost encroach that that starts to get me <laughs> worried. We're still at 10. Yeah, you guys can see the speed. All right. I swear it felt like we weren't going downhill anymore. It looked it didn't it look like it was going to be a what you call it? Here, let's go like this so we can see what's ahead of us. Yeah, it looks like it levels off. We walk back a little bit. And walk back here. Whoops. I don't want to do that. We're going to put some, if we can, put some fuel in these. Come on, you can do it. There we go. Just needed three logs see how we're doing we're actually losing speed okay so let's take the brakes off see what we've got we're still going downhill just not as much as before okay 3.3 all right well why don't we reduce our brakes to like 20 percent fill up with firewood we can get this one and maybe we can get a little bit of a remote view out here sometime soon Again. There we go. And we'll get the Heisler loaded up here too. Because we're going to need it. I think we're going to start hitting the uphill here soon. It, look, it feels like it now, doesn't it? Yeah, we're slowing down. Okay. Are we, we're staying even. 
Okay, so we're on level ground now, which means we're going to start hitting the hill here soon. So let's see what we've got here. Yeah, yeah, see, we're slowing down even with some regulators. So let's go like this. Really? Huh. Are these coal cars too much? Please tell me we're going to be able to pull this coal car up the, up the hill. I don't think we're going to. I think we got a problem here. Uh-oh. <laughs> Not only can't pull it up the hill. Okay, let's go like um, this. Whoops. We're going to go like this. We're going to turn on a sander. And we're going to turn on the sander on these. It's probably just the Heisler lost traction, I'm hoping. Did the, did the sander turn on? I don't think the sander turned on on that one. But let's see if we can get all of these. There we go. Okay. We have full regulator and full brake, and we're still going downhill? That's insane. There we go. All right. Let's try this again. Oh, you know why? The reverser. Did I really do that? <laughs> uh, I'll bet somebody was yelling at the screen. Okay, let me um, let me check my map here and make sure that our cars are still on. Yeah, all of our cars are still here. Okay. All right. You know what? I'm going to, before we continue, I'm going to do this where I'm going to open controls on the map and I'm just going to bring this thing up. That would be why we're going backwards. That would definitely be why we're going backwards. Okay. So, <laughs> all right, let's go like this. Hopefully we didn't, we didn't have, everything should have been settled by then. So we're not like cracking the whip or everything or anything. Everything is settled into, um, whatchamacallit I can't believe I did yeah because remember I was I was clicking over here and I missed the brake thing and I started hitting the reverser <laughs> all right Let's see how close we are we still got a ways to go okay so yeah I'm not sure which of this is up up and downhill and all that stuff so we're gonna keep an eye on our speed here see what happens when we reduce it maybe we were just on level ground <laughs> all right yeah that's that's a good speed all right we can we can do that and we can handle that 13.4. If it starts going up, then we need to, to drop our our throttle and or start hitting some brakes. And if it starts going down, then we need to add some. Bring it down a little bit. Yeah, I don't know if we'll be able to make it all the way to the ironworks. I think once we do that, I think once we do that, the ironworks will actually start putting out the tools in the steel pipes and we'll have new, more new things to, to ship. And those tools are, the boxcars full of tools are like a lot of money. That makes you a lot of money doing that, so that's cool. But I've been wanting to do one where we do like a whole bunch of boxcars, not just two boxcars or whatever. You know, we'll do a train with like 10 box cars or something like that, because I think that would be more fun. And obviously we're not going to be able to load up 10 box cars completely to the hilt, because they take like six, 64 or something, some ridiculous amount. But <clears throat> we can pretend like they don't. <laughs> right? Or I can, I, can, uh, I can load up the ones that are there. We can fill up 10 of them with tools using the save editor, and then when we get there, only unload the ones that we legit had. 
bring the throttle down a little bit on this. It's kind of a corner here. Let's go like this and see what our cars look like going around that corner. Yeah, they're doing okay. All right. Cool. But yeah, that's what we could do. We could we could load up like get like 10 box cars or whatever, some big number of box cars and bring them down and put one one tool on each one so that we've loaded them, you know, and then uh and then go into the save editor and fill it up so we got a nice big heavy train full of box cars to haul across the thing. Cuz that's more fun, isn't it? I don't think they go very far too. We don't have to go very far with the tools. I think they only go to the um the tools only go to the, uh, whatchamacallit, the oil thing right next door or something, don't they? I don't remember where the tools go. We'll have to look it up. But let's go like this and see. Everything's coming along. Let's see what's ahead of us here. More bridges. In crossings. Now I forget, did we end up going all the way down? Yeah, we did end up going all the way down to the smelter, didn't we? We tried making a shortcut and it just wasn't going to work. I think that's what happened. So, alright, we need some more regulator on here. And I think what we're going to do is, if I can, we're going to do this. And we'll put this back. And then we're going to, um, we're at 9.4, 9.6. All right, so let's we'll see if we can get some air here. We'll go off to the side, maybe. How's that look? Get a little bit back here. I think we'll go to this side, because then we can see all the cars back there. All the buggies. <laughs> all right. Let's go down a little bit, and then we'll do this. Come back a little. All right, I need to make sure that we're not, yeah, see, we're not doing that. 12.9, 12. Okay, so we do need some, we are probably on level ground. 12.3. I just need to keep a real good eye on that speed. So that we know we're not, uh... <laughs> yeah, that would be nice if the map on here showed that, showed the, the grades. I don't think it does. The one the one that they used to have that used to work, that is. How's our fuel doing? We're still at, yeah, we're still good on fuel. Okay. We haven't been going too heavy on the regulator, so we're doing pretty well on fuel. 12.5. Okay, we're starting to speed up again. Let's see what happens if we drop this completely. Yeah, we're still speeding up. Okay. Start giving it a little break. There we go. Because once it starts speeding up, that's when these first start hanging over, and then these come afterwards, and I think these are heavier <laughs> altogether. So, yeah, you want to make sure that, you know, that you're starting, that you're applying your brakes before the big heavy stuff starts really slamming you down the hill. Yeah, I don't know how much, honestly, I don't know how much those compare mass-wise to the locomotives. 
All right, let's let off the brakes again. Let's go totally neutral, see what happens here when we coast. 10.2, okay, so let's go back up to 10%, 12%, sure, that works. All right, that looks like it's keeping us about even. Probably go, yeah, we need a little bit more, don't we? All right, let's go like this. Let's go down a little bit just so that we can get there we go. You can still hear them. And let's look over this way, see what we've got ahead of us. We've still got... Okay, yeah, this is where it levels off and it goes up. Yeah, it either levels off or goes up a little bit of a hill. But I believe this is the top of the valley. Let's check our map. comes up yeah because that's where this turns is where we go across to the waterfall so yep all right cool go back like this there we go all right Let's see how this is looking 9.4 yeah that's fine 9.4 is fine all right and our switch should be already switched because we came down this way so it's already in the right spot and I believe it is level once we get across this bridge we're we're level I don't think it goes up or downhill at all let's see what we've got here nine I think there was a little bit of uphill before we hit the that level part. All right. Current speed, we're losing a little bit of speed, but bring up a little bit of regulator here. And then our whole trip down from the thingy is coasting <laughs> right there we go our whole trip down from the from the thing is 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 like downhill yeah once we get to here it's then we go downhill and coast yeah it would have been really nice if we could go straight across that valley and i think we can probably do that we could probably turn split off here and come across the valley to meet up with that track I think we might be able to do it but for right now it's it's fine if we just do it this way it's just get us get us established first and then we can worry about trying to optimize everything get something that works and then you try to improve it iterate right we can iterate <laughs> is it going to move me along with the train? Yes, it is. Awesome. All right. We're going to go down a little bit more. I'm going to get a little bit more of the engine sound there. There we go. See, if I don't click on this, so it can still... We can still uh, control our player and see the speed at the same time as soon as I click it the game window loses focus and then I can't then the mouse doesn't control the player the WASD keys work too in this mode so yeah by the way those I know uh, I've had a few people asking now what what mod I'm using it's called railroads online extended ROX and if you google for it it's easy to find there's a github where you can download it. Um, I gotta remember to put a link in the description. But yeah, it's it's easy enough to find. It's not like there's it's not like there's anything else on the on a web search that shows up when you search ROX, or at least anything that that would trick you into thinking you're downloading this and you're getting something else, you know. But yeah, <laughs> it's, there's there's really not much else to that on the yeah anyway 
We're going to go a little bit of reg here because we're going to have some friction around the corner, but I didn't want to go flying around the corner too fast here. We just need enough to get around it. There we go. It's a little bit of a tight corner, I think. It seems like it is anyway. I could probably widen that out and go farther out into the forest in order to to meet up, but it's fine. <laughs> he says as like cars start popping off the track, right? No, as long as we don't try to speed up or slow down with any significance as we're going around this, as long as we keep our speed even here, we should be fine. The bigger, the biggest problem is when you have a sharp turn like that and hills and stuff. Like everything's pulling on this side and pulling on that, especially if you have a sharp turn at the top of a hill or the bottom of a hill. <laughs> so everything is pulling either up off the track <laughs> in both directions or <laughs> or down over it, you know, off the track trying to pull. Yeah, I suppose being at the bottom of a hill in a in a dip as you're trying to make a sharp turn would be the worst worst case scenario. All right, our heavy cars are almost around that corner. I think we're starting to pick up speed from the yeah, we're starting to pick up speed from the downhill, so we're just going to start gently braking here, which will bring all of these slowly into compression gently, hopefully, right? We want to do that before we get a bunch of speed and then have to try to slam on the brakes, right? You want them gently to hit compression first. <laughs> All right, and I think, I don't know, let's see what 50% does. And then we'll see if we can get a shot over the bridge again. Let's see, let's go up a little bit. Get a nice... A nice uh, pretty shot here there we go oh that's cool <laughs> nice and yeah it looks like it's doing okay okay let's do this we're at 5.9 5 point we're slowing down a little bit but I think once we get over here let's see Let's see what it does here. Yeah, see, we'll pick up a little bit of speed. But yeah, once it starts getting over the, um, whatchamacallit, once more of these cars start getting over the downhill part, then it's going to start picking up speed more quickly here. Because I'm pretty sure we're going to get to a point where basically we're going to have the brakes full on and still be going like 13, but we'll see. And that reminds me, I need to make sure that we have um, the switches at the bottom set to go where we want to go. So maybe we should stop. We're just going to hit the brakes. And then we're going to go down here and we're going to teleport. Okay, so I just want to check and see if our switches are set correctly. Because we're going to end up, great, we're going to end up coming down here. And we're going to go up this hill, aren't we? Okay, we're going to have to drop off the, whatchamacallit, cars. I don't think we're going to be able to get the coal cars up this, are we? And then this one is switched that way. Yeah, I'm kind of thinking we should have some other way to get over to the other side. Because this is going to suck, isn't it? All right, let's see. Let's go back to our train, wherever it is. It's over by the river. There we go, it's in a van down by the river, right? All right, Did we? I think we came to a stop. I think it has stopped. Okay, so let's go like this. And we're gonna turn off the 
flying, I think. Nah, we'll ride this down. Yeah, we'll ride this down in the air again. Okay, cool. Alright, so we'll go like this. We'll stay up here. We're going to do... There we go. All right, and we're gonna let this get a little bit of speed. There we go. I'm trying to think of whether I should maybe put the brakes on one of the the last coal car, put a little bit of brakes just to keep tension in that. I don't know if it would or not. All right, so we're gonna go up to 50%. There we go. All right, let's see what we've got. Yeah, I think we're going to have to we're going to have to detach the coal cars in order to bring them back. Yeah, I'm not sure. I think we should probably just stop before the end of the thing. We do this. Let's get a little bit ahead of here so we can see what's coming up. There we go. All right. But yeah, we might even want to stop before we hit the end and maybe try to split off a piece of track and do a go around. I don't know. It almost seems like that would be a better, like to take this and split it off like right here and go up. You know what? That almost seems like a better idea, doesn't it? If we just split the track off right here, put in a, a thing right here, and then go around, because if you look at where we are, we're about level with the top of that. So then we don't have to go all the way back up all those hills. Although the thing is, the thing is we just, we'd have to make a sky bridge to go across that big open space. So I don't think it's necessarily a good idea. I'd rather have the long track that winds around the the uh, the territory, the terrain, instead of making some ridiculous bridge that, <laughs> that crosses a valley unnecessarily. Try to avoid those. All right, you know everybody's got their own ideas of what which aspects of realism they want to save. They want to try to preserve in their game and that for me is the one <laughs> the one that I want to keep doing okay so we're, we need to let off a little bit here let's try two thirds and see what we get there there we go let's see a little bit better here this is going to turn a corner so we'll go like this there and I think we can move these so the other thing I'm thinking of doing is um, since I have a better handle on reading the the files is I'm kind of thinking I want to make a map maker a thing that'll that'll draw out the tracks that'll map out your tracks I'm not sure if I want to deal with all that but it would be really nice to to be able to do that because it's, it's just spline points. There's basically an endpoint. There's two endpoints and a handle point. Basically, there's four points that describe each one as far as the splines. And then I'd probably have to figure out if it's a radius thing or what. but Or if they just uh, artificially do that using splines anyway. As far as like, because there's the spline tracks and then there's the curve tracks the ones that are a fixed curve. So I don't know if the fixed curves are doing that that way or not. I'll have to basically have to reverse engineer the file format and everything. Because as far as like, they might change the tools that lay them down and stuff, but I really don't think they're going to change how they get saved in the save file and that kind of deal. I don't think there's going to be too much change on that. There we go. We're getting a little bit more speed here. 
See if we can come this way. We'll come back behind the train this time. There we go. And let's see what we've got here. We're still staying at 9.2. It's good. It's a good speed. <laughs> and we're almost around the the valley here. Yeah, I'll have to look at the terrain and see if maybe there's a, a place that it's natural to break off. Like, it seems like it's kind of high up here. If If I could basically come down and go up a little bit, but... Yeah, that's gonna be that's gonna be something I'll have to look at offline. I don't think that'll be something I'll do in the in a regular episode. All right, let's get a little bit more speed here, because I think the thing we're gonna need to do is we're gonna need to stop before we actually get to the very bottom. We're gonna want to stop before we get to the very bottom. And um, and then uh, disconnect these. Yeah, we're almost there. Okay. So we're we're gonna want to stop and we're gonna want to disconnect the stake cars and see if we can get this thing to go up the hill. So we're gonna have to put the brakes on all of these other cars down here. So we'll we'll do that in a second. Here, go like this and we're going to start putting these brakes on too see if you guys can see down there there we go alright that should get us to stop and then what we're going to do is we're going to start putting the brakes on all of these once it's way slower <laughs> I don't want to I don't want to drag it too hard or anything. So All right, it's almost stopped. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to go like this. We're going to put a brakes on the first 5 of these. That should be enough. I think if it will let me. Yeah, it keeps doing that. Okay. 6 All right. All right, the, we got the brakes on. What we need to do is we need to go down there. And we need to detach. We need to detach this. There. Okay. It's detached. Cool. So now if you look at the, see, it shows them. It shows them as not attached. Okay, so when we take off with this, we're gonna we're going to um, <laughs> we're gonna try to go up the hill and get past that switch. So what I want to do before we get moving here, we're gonna close this, and I want to do this again. If I can turn, there we go. Turn off the flying. All right, so we're going to go up here if we can. <laughs> and what we're going to do is we're going to bring this one down the hill, and then we'll do like we did last time is we'll wait at the bottom here. We're going to try to get the whole thing past this switch and once the back car is past this switch that's when we'll uh, flip the switch so and then we're gonna go after we flip that switch we want this train to go this way okay it's gonna go this way come down this hill and go like this is it like that no it's the other way okay so apparently the left click moves the thing toward the white and the right click moves 
I'm um, sorry, the click moves it towards the red. Right click moves it towards the white, just FYI. Okay, so once we come down here, then we'll be able to do that. Okay, so we're gonna get our train to come down here and see if we can get it to run past all that. Let's go back up and check our engines and make sure that we're fueled up so that we don't like run out of fuel and steam and everything right as the <laughs> right as we get there, right? Right at the critical moment. There we go. Okay. And we'll grab some for this one. Is that there? All right, and then some for the Heisler. Can't we just grab some coal? <laughs> there. All right, so we are good there. And then I think we'll ride this down for a little bit. And let's go like this. We're going to ride this down, and we'll see. Yeah, see, it's not even showing them attached now. Okay, so we're going to let this get moving. You know what? Before I do that, one other thing. <laughs> We're going to save the game. <laughs> right? Before we do this risky maneuver. Okay. Let's go. We're going to let it move. Even give it a little juice, get it going. All right, we'll get a little bit more speed. Let's, we'll let it get around this corner first. Give it a chance to, to not die first, right? It looks like it's leveling off. All right, let's get up here. Yeah, that should be that should be mellow enough for this thing to come flying up here. Okay, and then we're gonna hit this mouse button. Okay, we're gonna hit that one. All right, let's go like let's go like this, and let's we can see it coming. 13, 14, because it pretty much should be at full speed by the time it hits this level spot anyway, so it should be about right. All right, let's crank up the... All right, let's see what we can do. See if we can get it to go. It's just barely hitting 16. I don't think it's going to do it because didn't we have di didn't we have problems just getting the empty one up? <laughs> it's already chugging. 15.4. 15.4.1. I don't think it's going to make it. But we'll see. It's got a little bit before it hits the big part of the hill, I think. So maybe we'll be able to get these past. Almost. No, oh, there's like 15 cars, aren't there? I don't think we're going to make it. I'm trying to decide whether it's worth hitting the switch and letting the ones go past and then fixing the ones that derail. <laughs> I don't know. Maybe we'll make it. Maybe we will. It's getting close. We're almost there. 
We're almost there. Almost there. Oh, we're going to do it. That's cool. That's really cool. Awesome. Okay. So now we can hit the switch. All right. And then we're going to hit the brakes. Maybe. Can it make it up the hill? Can we get up the hill? Oh, that would be cool if we could get up the hill, but no, it's... I don't think we're that powerful. No, okay. So we're going to hit the brakes. We're going to take the regulator off. And we're going to gently come back down the hill. <laughs> Let's do this too. There we go. Okay. So let's go like this. See if we start coming down the hill. Yep. We can use the engines to control our braking. So we have a couple of the cars. There we go. There. Because we're going to have to take these brakes off in a second, too. As this, see, each of these cars hits the plateau here, it's going to stop losing speed. It's like the perfect length. That run up is like the perfect length for this to be able to do it, too. It's funny. Okay. We still have to take the brakes off of this one. There we go. And now it should be pulling it down the hill. And then what we're going to want to do is we're going to back up the train. I'm kind of tempted to bring the rest of them down so that we can bring the whole thing up. I think we should do that, shouldn't we? Bring the stake cars down. Because we're not going to make it we're not going to make it to all the way up to the uh, the tool thing anyway, the ironworks. So yeah, maybe we should drop these cars off. I think that's actually what we should do, because these shouldn't sit down here anyway. There's nothing for them down here. We do need to bring them up the hill. We might as well try to bring them up the hill on the same trip, right? Okay, so these brakes are all off. We'll let these down to zero and see if we can get a little bit of speed going here. Yeah, that's a good plan. We're going to do it. That's what that's what we're going to finish up this episode doing that. We'll get the state cars down here. So I'll have to get them on the map and take off all the brakes on them and let them roll down this way. And then we'll get the engines up here. We want to get these. We want to get these put away first. We'll get these stowed safely. There we go. A little bit more, and then we should be good. What we need to do is we need to get we need to get the engine past this switch here so that it can go up that way. Or at least the first coal car, because that way our coal cars can come backwards and meet the other ones and then go up this way. Uh, now we do need to get all the engines past there because if we don't get the engines past there, then we're not going to be able to get them back up there. Okay. So we'll hit our brakes, or take the brakes off again, just a little bit. Because we've got 12 of those cars, so hopefully we'll have room. I think we'll have room to bring them back down here. <laughs> we can hope anyway. All right, let's see what we've... 
got as far as space here. Looks good, looks good. I need to come up here. Now we can see. Okay. And I think they're pretty much almost down the hill. So let's go like this and let it do its thing. I'm hoping we'll be able to bring all these coal cars up this hill, but I'm pretty sure we did the same thing where I've made sure that I haven't gone over 3% on that. That was the whole purpose of building that. Yeah, I don't want to slam on the brakes too much here. We're just going to have to see how much length, car length and everything we have on the other side of that circle over here. But I think we'll have enough to back our 12 cars into that. Okay, almost there. Couple more car lengths. Two more car lengths. Oh, and a and a tender. Yeah, I'm not so sure if we're gonna be able to do it. We might have to split them up into two things. But let's see what we've got here. Almost there, almost there. All right. And I think if we stop it right there, it should be okay. Come on, you can do it. There we go. Okay, they didn't come off, right? <laughs> nope, they, they just look kind of crooked over here, don't they? No, nope. okay, it's just, the, it's just pixels. Okay, so, um, Let's see, we can go like this. We're gonna hit the brakes on a couple of these just so it doesn't go anywhere. And then what we need to do is, actually, I think we are out of time, so we're gonna do this in the next episode, is we're gonna bring down the other ones. Is this where our switch is? Is that our switch? No, that's, no, that's fine, okay. So yeah, we're gonna have to bring down the other ones. We're gonna have to fit 12 cars from here to here. I think we can do that. We can fit 12 cars from here all the way up to here. But that's what we need to do is we need to get the engines down to here, let those 12 cars go that way, and then we can pull the whole thing up. So we might even be able to use the Montezuma for any of that. But anyway, yeah, that's going to be it for episode 30. Join me in episode 31. We'll see if we can get all this stuff put back together and back up the hill. So, and we'll see you then. Later. <laughs>